Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video we will see the lipid storage disorders. So otherwise they are known as pingolipidosis, accumulation of different types of lipids and different tissues leading to pingolipidosis. As like carbohydrate storage disorders, same way they do excess of lipid storage disorders. Right, so most of the lipid storage disorders are inborn errors. Okay, so mostly they are lysosomal storage disorder because most of the lipids they will be accumulating in the lysosomes of the cell so otherwise they can be named as lysosomal storage disorders and the sphingolipids which are normally catabolized by series of bond specific lysosomal hydrolysis because degradation of these complex lipids especially uh, sphingolipids okay they will be degraded by lysosomal enzymes like alpha and beta glucosidases, galactosidases, neuraminidases, hexosaminidases, and aryl sulfatases. The diseases result from failure of breakdown of particular sphingolipids due to deficiency of single enzyme. The children which are, who are affected by these diseases are severely retarded uh, mentally and seldom survive for long. So all these diseases can be diagnosed prenatally by amniocentesis and culture of amniotic fluid cells. Children have serious mental deficits. Replacement of deficient enzymes has been tried in Gaucher's disease with limited success. Whereas rate of synthesis of lipid is normal, but only the problem here is with the degradation part. The failure degraded, that means if there is a failure in degradation, the concerned substance or the lipid will be start accumulating and occupying the space in the subcellular organelle. The extent of enzyme deficiency is same in all tissues. So now we will see tabular columns one by one what are all the lipid storage disorders exist in the human body. Okay, so to start up with the Gaucher's disease, it is because of the enzyme deficiency, beta glucosidase. So the accumulated product, accumulated lipid will be here, glucose, enthosi, complex lipid and silent features. There are three types of like uh, Gaucher's disease you can say uh, based on the type of accumulation, adult, infantal, juvenile. The main prominent future here is hepatosplenomegaly, erosion of bone and moderate anemia. Okay. And coming second one, Neiman Pick's disease because of the enzyme deficiency is pingomyelinase and concern lipid which is accumulating here is pingomyelin. So severe central nervous system damage as pingomyelins play a major role in uh, making of uh, neurons and nerve cells. Right. So the main affected organ will be central nervous system. So leads to mental retardation. Again, another prominent feature: hepatosplenomegaly, cherry red spot in macula. Death occurs by second year of age. And third one is Krabbe's leukodystrophy because of the enzyme uh, deficiency that is uh, beta galactosidase. So the accumulated product is galactosyruboside. And here the main thing is severe mental retardation, total absence of myelin in central nervous system, globoid bodies in white uh, matter. So the fourth one is metachromatic leukodystrophy. Sulfatide sulfatase enzyme deficiency. The lipid accumulating is sulfogalactosyruboside. And if you see the futures, accumulation of uh, sulfogalactosyruboside in most of the tissues, neurological deficiency, difficulty in speech, optic atrophy, demyelination is also here is one of the prominent future here. Fifth one is Fabry's disease. Here the enzyme defect is alpha galactosidase, and the lipid accumulating is ceramide trihexoside. And the silent future is kidney is the site of accumulation where the major thing and progressive renal failure death by fifth of uh, fifth year of the age purplish papules appear and it is X-linked inheritant. Sixth one is tay sachs disease. It is also because of the deficiency of the enzyme hexosaminidase A. The accumulated product will be ganglioside GM2 type and the incidence is like one in six thousand births. Mental retardation is a prominent future. Cherry red spot in macula. And seventh is generalized gangliosidosis. It is because of the enzyme deficiency beta galactosidase and lipid accumulating is ganglioside GM1 type. In case of ASACs, it is GM3. Here it is GM1. And the silent future is mental retardation. Again, hepatomegaly, skeletal deformities, foam cells in bone marrow, chill red spot in retina. You see here the main lipid storage disorder features. If you see all the main thing is mental retardation, hepatomegaly, second prominent future. Okay, and cherry red spot in macula. Uh, here, generalized ganglioidosis, cherry red spot in retina. Lactosyl ceramidosis, it is because of beta galactosidase enzyme deficiency and accumulated product will be lactosyl ceramide. Mainly, central nervous system will be defective and uh, reticular endothelial system will be affected. And last one of the lipid storage disease, that is Sandoff's disease, 
it is because of the deficiency of the enzyme hexosaminidase A and B, the accumulated product will be globocytes and different tissues which causes the saline features of for this disease, neurological defects along with the mental retardation. So, these are there are 9 types of sphingolipidosis, otherwise lipid storage disorders exist in our body and all are ex-linked and they are inherent in nature, you can say inborders of lipid storage disorders, okay. So, that's all about lipid storage disorders. Thanks for watching. Thank you.